Hi everybody, this is Chase Hook with Go Engineer, and today we are going to look at what's new in SolidWorks 2019. And today we are going to check out the new slicing tool as well as the 3D texture tool. The slicing tool lives under insert and slicing right here. If you notice, I actually added mine to the command manager. This is a pretty simple way to do it. Drop this guy down right here, select commands, and you can actually drag and drop the slicing tool right back out here under the command manager. If you want the slicing tool or to remove any of the other tools, you can just do an alt drag out here into the graphics area and that will delete it. So let's go ahead and hop into the slicing tool and I'll show, show off what it does. The slicing tool creates intersection sketches through mesh bodies. This will allow us to repurpose mesh data to create solid models. So the first thing that's looking for is a slicing plane. Conveniently, the top plane will do exactly what we want here. I'm going to go ahead and change my offset distance as well as the number of planes that I want to create. So let's make that 10. And we can bump that up and down to get the correct number of planes that we want. And go ahead and uncheck exact. And if you notice when I hit the green check, we go ahead and get some very nice sketches that intersect the mesh. So what the slicing tool did was it created planes as well as sketches that can be used to create solid bodies from the mesh data. The next step in the workflow is to hide the surface body so we can go ahead and create a surface that will allow us to create a solid in the end. So I'm going to go ahead and create a lofted surface using the profiles that we created in the slicing tool. As you can see, very quickly, I get a very organic looking shape that can be used to create a solid in the long run. Using some basic surfacing techniques, I was able to cap off the surface loft and create a solid body with the thicken feature. The slicing tool allows us to easily reverse engineer a solid from existing mesh data. The next new feature that I would like to show off in SolidWorks 2019 is the 3D texture tool. The 3D texture tool allows you to transform 2D pictures into 3D geometry. In previous versions of the software, to show textures like these ribs, it would take a lot of time to create these features that you see here in the tree. In order to expedite this process, SolidWorks has added in some preloaded 3D textures to the software. They are found in the same place as all of the other appearances, and they do have the same exact drag and drop functionality. So I'm going to scroll down to the honeycomb, drag and drop it out onto the face, go ahead and select the face, and what we want to do next is actually edit that appearance. So I'm going to come in here, double click, bring up the editing window here, and we're going to adjust the mapping. So I want to actually project this onto the YZ plane, and if you notice that's a little bit too big, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the actual size of the honeycomb itself. Let's do five millimeters. And that's what looks about right. Now we can go ahead and hit the green check and we can add in the 3D textures from the solid body drop down list. Right click here and 3D texture. Now that we are in the 3D texture tool, I'm going to start off by changing the display style and activating the 3D texture. The 3D texture tool is looking for three inputs. The first one is the texture refinement. This controls the number of facets of the 3D texture. The first input here is going to be 0.7%. The second input that the 3D texture tool is looking for is the texture height. So this is the offset of the 3D texture from the surface of the body. For this example, we are going to do 0.38 millimeters. And the last one that it's looking for is the maximum element size. This controls the maximum size of the facets adjacent to the 3D texture. The last input here will be 0.2 millimeters. The 3D texture tool gives us a preview of the texture that we have now applied. Go ahead, hit the green check. And now SolidWorks creates a mesh body that is ready for downstream processing or 3D printing. This has been Chase Hook with another What's New in SolidWorks 2019, introducing the slicing and 3D texture tools. Thank you for watching. <laughs>